I have the 35 moved back and I have her jacked up. It's well and <laughs> it's well and truly held. So the plan is because I'm waiting on parts to get the front axle finished, rebuilt. I want to start getting a look in here at the brakes and stuff like that and see what sort of a condition things are in. So straight away I can see the two grub screws are missing. And uh, if I'm having problems getting this brake drum off, I can also always uh, tread in both each side there. It's treaded and that helps to kind of pull it off. So all of the wheel studs were replaced. So um, it looks like these weren't off in a while. It could be a bit, some of them could be a bit fun, but oh, we'll, we'll win it. And uh, so next job is to see if I can get uh, this brake drum off. I felt a bit stiff turning it by hand, so I'm going to make sure that it is turning. Put on two wheel nuts for that. Well, it is turning. So that's good. So the next job is to see, actually, for the fun, I'll, just, I'll, move, I'll turn on the brakes by hand there and we'll see what's happening here or do we have brakes because the brakes weren't the best on it so pull that towards me so there's some form of a brake working on it there anyway pull the brake rod towards me so I'll get it down a little further Very, very, very small amount of brakes working on it. So, let's get this drum off and get a look inside. First job is just to give these treads a bit of a clean out, as they are uh, a little bit dirty to say the least. A lot of grime in them. I won't go in very far, of course, because of the pint that's on this butcher. I'm going to have to clean it out a bit anyway. It's quite a good bit of it. penetrating oil in around it as well to help. So the idea is that this screws to get the axle there and it should push this out. All going well. So to get another one of them. Let's see, I'm trying to work out is it. Uh, is it of a head on it or not. So, a bit of a guessing game here. I did this on the gold belly not too long ago. So dirty, I can't really work out. This is too big a bolt for it. So, I got the top on in a bit. So I'm going to get another one for the bottom one and I'll come back. I think we're winning. It is slowly coming out. These holes were just so gunked up. I remember on the go belly, it was the same. They were very, very hard to screw these bolts in to help push off the, the hub, the brake, brake up. Just shearing up with rust. And the fact that these holes actually sometimes never are even used, that doesn't help either. So I think we're slowly winning. It's a slow process, but you take your time. And put the tractor in gear. That should stop that. Yeah, we're definitely winning there. You can see it, the gap is coming there now. If it wasn't for these holes, you'd end up having to try and pry, and you'd end up breaking bits off them like that. That's from people prying before. And the brake back of the blade just isn't strong enough for that. It'll bend. And you left them with a the gap, water, 
and dirt and all of that and get in. So I'm going to keep doing this and when I get it off I'll come back. I mentioned as well I have the, the brakes backed off. So how you do that is there is a little star shaped lad in there. You'll see it when I get the, the hub off. And uh, you probably can you see it in just there. And what you do is you put in your screwdriver. So I had that backed off. That's one thing obviously you do before you go pulling the brake, the brake hub off. Things are loose here, so we're ready to come. Now, take a look, see what we got. Okay. Axle seal leaking. We got one side here. Is that all? Still held on, it is. Okay. So this actually isn't too bad. Those brake shoes are actually perfect, would you believe? Perfect. I'd say they were never actually, the brakes weren't adjusted. So I can get away with using them again, which is great news. Our adjuster here seems to be turning lovely and free, but I'll take him out, I'll give him a good clean up. So what we can do with him is just get him to adjust back voice. Jesus, great to be able to turn these so easy. So that's, that's good news, that's closing there. It's closing nice and easy by hand. But regardless, I'll give uh, I'll give it all the treads of a good polishing up and I'll put on that anti-seas grease onto that kind of black grease. It's mighty stuff for this. So we're going to get away with using these brakes again. I will give them a quick sanding just to make sure there's no oil on them because the axle seal say is just about starting to leak on this side. It's going to be done anyway. Um, so it won't be causing a problem in the future and uh, we'll be able to get these brakes Adjust it up perfect. Then, lovely. So I'm very happy with that. I mean, your adjuster able if it's able to turn that easy, that's brilliant. Okay. So next thing is to get these two springs off. They're both red, so they doesn't matter where they go, top or bottom. And then we can get our vice grips and get these removed. It's just a matter of pushing them in and twisting, but it's a two hand job. So that's okay. Well, there's. There's one off there anyway. I'll leave the other one on because it'll be easier for getting the springs off. Okay. What I do to get the brake off is I get a lot of strong red bale and twine. I loop it and just put a knot in it and then all goes well. Saves you messing around with screwdrivers. The bottom. Saves so things going, going flying. Okay, how are we doing here? It's moving. Good. Okay, we've got a spring in there. Downward, off the adjuster. So that's that. And the mark that is the bottom one, may as well. Probably doesn't make a whole lot of difference. But that's that. And that's that. Not for running them, go. Lovely, lovely. Take all them out. Lovely. That brake back in place will be coming off anyway. And I will, yeah, the axle seal was starting to, to leak. So this is just the time now to do this, otherwise I'd have to get new brake shoes. Okay. Now we'll see what's happening here with this brake rod. We'll come true. Yeah, I will. It'll oblige us. Lovely. Very, very nice. Mighty work. Mighty work. 
So, what I can do, I won't do it now though, is I can tap out that lad there. He's acting like a Woodruff key. I'd imagine it's just a matter of tapping him with a bit of a chisel. And uh, that should come off, I think. Yeah. Okay, so that is your brakes stripped. So now I can start stripping these nuts. So uh, on closer inspection, these brake shoes are actually they're soaked in oil. That's what happens. So they're never going to grip. So I'm going to drill out the back of the rivets. They're only I think they're uh, brass rivets or copper. Get a punch. And that should that should do it. I'm just gonna get a better drill bit because that's a little bit slow now in front of it. Should drill out handy with the right drill bit. Like that. Continue like so. So I'll come back when I have that shoe off. So I'll give you a better view of what's going on in case you're going doing this yourselves. You pick a drill bit that's fairly wide. You just want to drill away a bit of that that's widened there. That's all you got to do. Don't have to drill it the whole way through. Wake at it. That's about it. So I'll come back when I have that off. So that should be it now. We all out. One more to do. I didn't see that. So I'll do that now. Keep you with me while I do it. they're really sticky so and I don't know but I, I just wouldn't I have new I have a new two new sets of them there in the, my own parts stash so I may as well replace them they just feel really see this kind of a greasy oily kind of a job so they'd never actually grip so and what I usually do with these is I put on the wire wheel on the electric drill get it, get them cleaned up and always wear a mask because the original brake shoes were asbestos so you don't want any of that dust going into you so give that a bit of a clean up with the drill and then I might even just hit it with the shop blaster then just to to clean a bit of the crap out of it and get all of these areas then that have to move nice and polished up with a bit of sandpaper so that's the plan I have two sets of these kept in stock because they fit everything from a 135 and 35 and a Ferguson 20 and probably Ford's and Dexter as well so it's a uh, Brake lining, 35, 135, and it's rubber rather than the asbestos, so it actually, I find they're a far better brake. They grip a lot better than the asbestos tight. Mind you, they no longer make asbestos. It's a kind of a hard, resiny, plastic you kind of thing. It's obviously not asbestos anymore. But I find I have fitted these two, three Ferguson's, and I find they're a far better brake. So I can start fitting them onto these. These are actually getting a good cleaning down. It was only for a shop blast. Shop blast would only probably cause rust afterwards because it's cleaned down too much. So the wheel on the, uh, the wire wheel on the drill did, did a perfect job and I can finish then with a bit of sandpaper. 
but there's no point doing that <coughs> until I have my greasy my greasy mitts are finished working on them. So I'll do that at the end, and uh, we can start getting these fitted onto the shoes now. So they come with plenty of, of rivets. Uh, if I remember correctly from the last time, they usually give you a spare one. So you shove your rivet in. And what I do is I just put a little bolt through further up just to keep uh, things lined up. Put a punch in your vice that's going to be roughly the same weight. Sit it on there. Now I don't have kind of a the hammer with the ball end is the best to be honest to get the best uh, finish on it. Make sure that's good and tight, that's not going down it. Right. Keep tapping there too. It's gone. Right in. And then I always start in the middle. Put the one in beside it. Make sure it's pushed right up and in. Don't think I have a better hammer. Probably this is a little bit has a bit a bit rounder head on it. Okay, and that's right up as well. So you continue. From the middle because you want to kind of squeeze it out that way and you put in the next one That's pulled up as well. Nice and nice and neat. And the same with that. So you just check them all as you go along. So I can continue with that. And I had this little bow, uh, kind of a screw bolt in there, just keeping things lined up for me further on up the way to make sure it's not going off to one side. So that is the, the height of it with now putting these. So I can fit the rest of them and come back when it's done. So that's the lot of them done there now. All present on the counter for. So that side is done, and then I'll do the same with this side. <laughs> 